What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about maps, okay? This is the entry level into the end game, okay? I'm going to lay down some very basic stuff. Hopefully this will help out a lot of new players if you guys have made it to the end game and you guys are here. Now, in order to unlock maps, what you're going to do is you got to complete Act 1 through 3, and that's the first start of the campaign. And then you're going to redo Acts 1, 2, and 3 again, but it's going to be on Cruel, which is just a harder version of Acts 1, 2, 3. It, it is a little bit more difficult, but it's really not that bad. If you have a pretty strong build by the time you finish the campaign the first time, doing Cruel is not going to be that bad once you're gaining levels and gaining passive points. Now, at the end of Act 3, you're going to unlock the end game. Okay, you're going to unlock the end game, and this is where everything starts to really get even more fun. So we're going to have maps here. This is called maps. Um, they have revolutionized and changed how maps actually work and how they look. Uh, they have this new map system here, which looks even better than what it, what it was before. And it looks absolutely incredible. So a few things for when we first get in here, okay? Just to kind of break things down. Before you can actually start maps, okay, you're going to have this guy, Dorian, who you're going to talk to. And you're going to need a waystone. A waystone is going to be how you can be using your maps in the map device. And this is how you go from dot to dot. Okay. So in maps, you have to use these before you had a set map that you would put into your uh, map device and you would just use it. So what I'm going to do is just go to my hideout real quick, just to show you guys. So in your hideout, um, you're going to have this map device here, and this is where it shows everything. And this is where you're going to be able to use your waystone. Okay, so you're going to need to find waystones. When you first complete uh, the quest to get into the endgame, when you finish the endgame, you will be granted your very first waystone. They're going to give you one, and I highly suggest that that's the first one that you do. Because once you get into cruel mode in these later acts, specifically Act 3, you can find waystones on the ground. Like, they can just drop. But when you get to the quest and you get to the end game, use the one that Dorian gives you first. Okay, just use that one. It'll make things a lot easier. So how to use a waystone is pretty simple. You're just going to throw it in there and it's going to activate the map. But first things first, I want to show you guys this real quick. So these waystones, just like any gear piece or item, you can orb to make it magical and it'll give it a modifier. And then you can add another modifi modifier. And then, of course, you can regal it and take it up to yellow. We're going to leave it here on, on uh, magic. So now we have 40%, 48% increased magic pack size and 75% less effect of curses on monsters. So if you put a curse on there, 75% less. Now, just to kind of show you, once you get in here, okay, each map for each person is going to be completely random. Like, my map looks different than my teammate's map, Nuax. His looks way different than mine, okay? I'll talk about some of the party stuff in regards to maps in just a second, but your map layout is completely different from your teammates, okay? Now, once you get in here, you're going to start at a tower, okay? It looks like this. That's why it has the home. This is exactly where you start, okay? <clears throat> now, you can go any way that these dots will connect, okay? You're going to go any way. So, for example, I'm up here, so I traveled all the green dots are the dots that I traveled and completed a map, and this is where I am. Now, before I show you how, how to transport and go through these, look for these icons here for your hideout okay you will have to find this on your map and when you do i highly suggest that you travel to this first because it'll give you your hideout which is similar to what it was in poe one you can see this is my hideout it has everything that i need here the lockers all the people my stash and this is where i spend most of my time after unlocking the end game that way i don't have to be in any of the towns in the campaign okay so how do we use our waystones and how do we travel from dot to dot? Okay. Uh, I will go over the different icons above these dots, but I will show you how to move these. So I'm here so I can pick whichever line that I want from this location. So I can go to this dot or I can go to this dot. Okay. So if I wanted to select this dot, for example, I'll click it and then I would put the waystone in and then traverse. And then that's going to take me to go do that map. Okay. Very easy, very simple. Now, um, let me unclick. Now, before we get into the towers, I don't want to go too much into the towers and stuff like that. I want to keep this very basic for people who are just now 
um, getting to maps or understanding how maps work. We'll talk about the intricates of the Lost Towers and stuff like that in another video because that's going to take a whole a whole other video to explain. So to go from dot to dot, you can only go to where it connects and you just click, you put your waystone in and then you traverse and that's it. Now, a few things about doing these maps. When you go into the map, you will get six portals. Okay, six portals will be, I'll go to the fell hideout here so you guys can see. Just like in POE 1, when you go to do a map, you will have six portals. Okay, now, before, whenever you would die, you would pop back out to where you are now. You could use a portal and go back in. However, that is not the case. If you die, that waystone is, is consumed, and you would have to use a new waystone on that same dot. Okay? So if I go back to my, to my hideout here, in here, into the map device... So if I wanted to go here and I use my waystone, it consumes it. So if I die, I lose the waystone and I will have to use another waystone on this same dot if I want to go that way. Okay? So keep that in mind. The six portals would be used for um, a few things. One is going to be if you fill up your inventory, you can portal out, come here to your vendors, and then you can sell. The second reason is, is if you disconnect for whatever reason and load back in, the disconnect consumes one portal, then you can go back into the same original map and you're all set, you can continue it just like normal. So you don't lose any progress, okay? Now, the third thing about dying on these maps is these modifiers. You're gonna see these little icons above each of these maps, okay? Some have modifiers and some don't, okay? Each of the modifiers or yeah, if you want to call it that, I'm going to say modifiers. Each of these modifiers represents a different kind of end game mechanic or um, just a buff or something like that. But this is going to be the end game mechanics. Now, before I explain those, because I'm going to have to show you the map, when you first get into maps, you're going to have a quest line over here to the right. Before you needed to complete like one of every tier one, tier two, tier three, etc. in POE one. They've done something similar, and now it's just complete 10 of each tier. Currently, there's 15 tiers of maps in the game. So I just finished completing tier 1 maps. Now, when I do that, oops, when I do that, Dorian will have this quest marker above him. And I completed the uh, tier 1 maps. Now, each time you complete a set quest, if you will... Of completing the 10 tier 2 maps or 10 tier 1s like I just did. You're going to be granted a book of knowledge. And it says knowledge 1. This grants 2 atlas skill points. So let's right click. Then we're going to come down to our atlas skill points. And then this is our brand new atlas tree. Okay. Now the atlas tree is going to be broken into 2 different things. You're going to have your main atlas tree. Which you're going to gain points of each time you complete these quests. There's 15 tiers. You're going to get 2 points per completion so that's going to give you 30 points in total you're going to have 30 points to put into this atlas tree however you want now you're going to be like well war there's other stuff here yes these trees these outside ones are the end game mechanics that you're going to be striving for so we're going to have we got what is this delirium or breach expedition bossing uh, arbiter delirium and ritual each of these are an end game mechanic, which can be used to enhance your riches, rewards, currency, and gear when you're doing that mechanic. Now, let's go back to the tree. On the tree, each of these devices or icons represents an end game mechanic. So, for example, this one is delirium. This one is going to give you delirium. This one is, uh, I think, bossing. This one is my is a uh, uh, breach or not breach. Um, that one is if I go to my Alice tree, I believe that one is this one, which is uh, ritual. Um, and then the the big circle one is expedition. So if you guys see here, this one is expedition. So what that means is when you go in to do this map, it is going to have that end game mechanic there for you to do. Now, if you die while doing this map or this ma yeah this map with the end game mechanic you will lose being able to do that mechanic in that map okay so that means it 
if you die when you have one of these mechanics on here, it turns into just a regular node, okay? You can do the map again, but you won't have the end game mechanic there. So I would not have Expedition here if I die. It'll just be a normal mode or a normal node. However, if you complete it with the end game mechanic in it intact, what will happen is, is you will get two points to put into the Expedition tree. Each time you complete an Expedition map, you will get more points to put into this tree. Excuse me, I don't think it's two points. It might be one point to put into here. But each time you complete the mechanic, you will get points to put into this tree that is separate from the points you put into this tree, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys are still following along. I hope it's not too difficult. So that is the basis of maps. There is no nothing that's being blocked. You can go through and do whatever you want. Like this one right here, I believe, is bossing. Uh, delirium. This one has two. So this one has expedition as well as ritual. And then down here, the hand, that is your breach. So you have a lot of mechanics here that you can go through and do. Now, traditionally, look, this one has all three. That's a tough one. So I went up north because I right here was my hideout and I wanted to get that first. Now I could would probably want to just pick anything that I could do. Now, keep in mind, I believe that if I wanted to put this map in here, I could traverse because... Um, I completed this map and this is my home so I can branch from my home or I can branch from where my character is which makes moving along here pretty cool so I hope that this has helped you guys this is maps in a nutshell it's pretty basic on the you know the base level of it I hope I didn't confuse you too much with the nodes that have an end game mechanic um, but it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory you can go anywhere there's a connection and there's some strategy to it as far as how you want to navigate this. Um, we will do another video on the on the towers, which is very important because this is going to change how you get a lot of currency, which I'll talk about here soon in the realm gates. Um, but for the very basics of maps, I wanted to show you guys this. It's an entry level. This is going to be for beginners. Um, and while I'll have a more advanced video in the future talking about all the lost towers and stuff. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about maps. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask me. I will answer them all down in the description below or in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.